Students of Coe College have been doing water quality research for eight years. Chemistry, biology, and even history majors gather and analyze local water samples under the direction of Coe College chemistry professor Marty St. Clair. These samples are taken from 10 different watersheds connected to the Cedar River. The research that we do is on several different watersheds, and every day we take several different samples to take with us back in lab, but we also do field testing. And in the field, we take different things like pH, dissolved oxygen, turbidity, conductivity, and then we take our samples back to the lab in the afternoon. It is not uncommon for students to continue this research for more than one year. No two summers are exactly the same, and students gain a better understanding each year. I've been doing research for two years. Um, the first year I did, we were experiencing a drought, and then this year we've got more flooding, so we're seeing a lot more water and rain, and it's showing a lot of different results with nitrate levels. And so I find it's really interesting because I saw the both when we had almost no nitrates to now when we're having about 28 milligrams per liter, so it's a huge contrast. Students not only increase their knowledge and hone their skills, their efforts make a difference on a local and even national scale. To me, the most important thing that we do in our research is looking at the nitrate levels. And we're looking at nitrate because we see it coming from the agricultural runoff of the area. And even though we're just looking at it in our watershed, it affects the larger picture because eventually the runoff goes into the river and down to the Gulf of Mexico. And so we're looking at a small scale here, but eventually it's affecting a larger picture. After spending mornings retrieving samples from the field, students spend the afternoons in the lab analyzing their data. After we collect samples, we come back to the lab, we test for total suspended solids, phosphates, nitrates, sulfates, chlorates, and E. coli in total coliform. We use these measures because those are the standard in assessing stream health. In addition to helping students prepare for careers, water quality research at Coe can also help students choose their career path. I really enjoyed doing research with Professor St. Clair this summer, and I really look forward to doing research with him for the next two to three years, and it has cemented the fact that I would like to go into agriculture-related research. Professor St. Clair comments on the independence, growth, and accomplishments of students who spend their summers conducting water quality research. One of the things I really like about doing water quality work is the fact that I can bring in students at any stage of their college career, uh, ranging from students who haven't even begun yet to students that are seniors. Students can come in at any stage, learn how to make good measurements, uh, learn the importance of data quality using sophisticated instrumentation, and then if they stay on working with me, they can become the supervisor, they can take charge, they can dig into areas of interest to them. So it's been a great project in that sense.